What's up YouTube? Cap over here and welcome to the Cap side. Today I've got a UU battle with Keza. And um, Keza found me on Reddit and if you're not aware, most of our battles do come from Reddit. So be sure to keep your eye on your eye, not your eyed, your eye out for that as we do accept a lot of challenges through Reddit. Um, with that, with that, I'm going to bring in my Mega Agron. Lapras, Mean Shell, Trevenant, Swallow, and the Typhlosion. And this is not, this is the regular set Swallow. So no Boom Burst Swallow for you guys today. As I see his team, and I didn't know who you would start off with as. It was sort of a roll of the dice and see what happens. So I lead off with my Mega Agron because rocks are pretty nice and they are a thing. No one likes stepping on rocks. No one. Not even me. I just bare feet, go out there, no. No way. So Tentacro comes on out and I'm like, I'm not about this life where my guy could potentially get burnt. <laughs> so I sent out my Trevenant to take a possible Scald, but he takes advantage of that and sets up Toxic Spikes, which sucks for me because now every Pokemon that comes onto the field will get poisoned and I do have my Typhlosion. So in terms of my Typhlosion's durability and usefulness, it won't last that long. So I'm like, alright, I gotta switch on out of here. This thing's way too scary. Noivern has way too much special attack as Nessie will come on through and take whatever thing this wants to deal as he's gonna go for an air slash and it doesn't do a lot of damage but thanks to poison damage, I will get withered down. So I figured the tentacle would come on out but, but the cloister does as I go for my psychic on the cloister. And uh... I didn't want this thing to set up Shell Smash because Shell Smash is really scary and yeah that's that's way that's way too real for me and that's way too much so I stayed in and I'm like Nessie you gotta take one for the team you always do you always pull through and uh, Nessie Nessie does take one for the team unfortunately as I'm gonna get my Mega Aggron here just because my Aggron can totally wall this thing and it's not going to take any damage and I can get my Mega Evolution up right away so all in all that was a that was, that was this all play as I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave because Mega Agron is pretty slow and Thunder Wave is pretty awesome to do when when you're when you have a bit of doubt in your mind as as a yeah this is going to become a really slow team and I don't see that he has any um Pokemon that are ground type, so Thunder Wave was a safe play, and I can get some decent damage off of this Tentacruel. As I do know, a Scald won't take me down in one hit, but unfortunately, he gets the burn, and I'm like, darn it, Agron, why'd you have to get burned? Now you're not as useful right now, but you can still set up your rocks. But I figured he would withdraw and go into something that could take me out, going into the Noivern, and I just go for another Thunder Wave because I want to paralyze another thing and getting the paralysis on the Noivern is so clutch so clutch because Noivern is a speedy Pokemon that hits really hard so over here I knew I had to set up my South Rocks or else I would go down to this Noivern and luckily for me the, the Thunder Wave did pay off as I was able to set up my South Rocks because I could outspeed and the Draco Meter is way too strong when rocks hurdle, hurdle from the sky at you you don't know you, you faint like that's that's just that's crazy that's cray cray that's crazy so i'm gonna send out my ramatan and i'm gonna get poisoned once again i gotta be really careful that as i go for a fake out i'm like you know what noivern <clears throat> you're not gonna enjoy this fake out as i'm gonna flinch you make you all flinchy and whatnot <laughs> and i'm gonna u-turn on out so i mean Shao's gonna be quite quite the hit and run pokemon you know doesn't want to stay in in this battle for quite a long time as I'm just gonna send out my swallow and uh I'm hoping I get, I get the the para and I do so I get a free turn of burn my guts is activated and I can go for a facade and take out this speedy guy right here so I do get the crit add a little salt to the wound you know swell is just one of those Pokemon that we can just twist the knife when it's in it when in when, when inserted now I'm scared of this thing because I don't know what sort of Lucario it is and Lucario hits Swellow on all sorts of fronts as he could go just for 
a vacuum wave or something of that um, genre. So I figured Avocado was my best bet, as he's just gonna eat up his lung. He's gonna be oh no 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 no. And unfortunately, Lokari is gonna go for an Ice Punch, which does way too much damage. And for some reason, Trevenant's always the recipient of my misplays or my mistakes or some sort of thing that goes bad for me because I just simply don't play Trevenant to his uh, strengths. So I go back into square one, Night Gale, and just go for a Brave Bird, get rid of this thing. You know what, Lucario, you, you, you took down Trevenant for no, no reason. He just came onto the field, he's like, sup man, what's up? And then you just, you just punched him. So Night Gale revenged his, avenged his uh, fallen comrade. As Porygon 2 will take the field, and the Porygon 2 is quite, quite the wall, so I figured I should save my Swallow as this thing could have Ice Beam or Tri Attack, and uh, I could potentially wear this thing down as I do get the crit. Dawn Swallow, you're just a crit machine today. You're just, you're just feeling it. You're feeling the, the flow. You're feeling the flow of the wave, man. Being one with the Force and whatnot. Seeing the future. And um, I figure I'd just go for a fake out, get as much, get as, get as much damage as I can off of anything that comes on. So Skeptar will take some rock damage. Once he, he's a, he's a shiny, he's a shiny Christmas tree, nice, nice and shiny, nice and shiny. So I'm gonna go for the fake out. Does it does a decent amount of damage, and I figure at that point, perhaps a U-turn could could take down the Skeptar. As it turns into a Mega Skeptile, I'm like, oh snap, will he outspeed me? Which, which he doesn't, so that's always awesome when Ramutan can once again hit and run, and <laughs> it's it's worse than dining and dashing, man. You, you, know, you eat, eat a good meal, and then you you make a sprint for it, so. Ramutan is one of those sprinting Pokemon, going all out for a sort of short second, for a short burst, short burst. Short first. And then Coca Cola will make room as I figured the Tentacle would come on out, but Coca Cola was sort of death bother as Tentacle will take rock damage. And I'm almost at full health, so Eruption will do a decent amount of damage to it. Almost taking it down. And fortunately for me, he gets Para once again when it's so crucial because. Because Typhlosion can take down the Tentacle one at this range with an eruption. Even though he's at a bit less HP, it's still enough to sort of crawl <laughs> the HP down to zero. So Tentacruel is gonna go down to an erupting Typhlosion, which is which is a bit weird when you think about it because Tentacruel is bulky. And then the Cloister is gonna make room, take a lot of damage to rocks, and I can just go once again for rock or for eruption and take down this Cloister too. So, right now Typhlosion is doing doing a good amount of work considering he's poisoned and slowly willing, windling down in his uh, in his defense, so. I'm happy with the work Typhlosion has put in. He's, he's put in a good day's work and I'm like, you know what man, you, you may be feeling a bit sick today, but you're, you're putting in the work of many, many, many moms that normally wouldn't, so. This is totally fine that you're getting walled by this Porygon too, because a lot of people do. Like, Porygon is equivalent to Snowlax and Pokemon Blue and Red, blocking that path. And you, you can't swim around it because you don't have the badge for that, so... That's what Porygon's doing to me right now. I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to get around this thing, and this is his last Pokemon, I do believe. So, I just figured if Typhlosion gets a bit of damage off, that's a success. Pat on the back, you know what, you did really good man, you did really good, so you're gonna get some extra treats today, and a little spiffy shiny ball too. So Rabbitan comes on in, I go for the fake out, I want, I want to make sure High Jump Kick will take it out, just just in case that damage does matter, and uh, I'm just gonna go for my High Jump Kick, luckily I don't miss, and I take down the Porygon too with the High Jump Kick, so I do believe that was a narrow 2-0 victory against Kaiza, so really good battle Kaiza. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, um, check out our Twitter page, we're pretty active on Reddit. 
if you guys have any feedback that would be awesome just type it in and be like yo man i like food and i'll be like yo man i i also like food and then we'll, we'll have a conversation about about food <laughs> so and also in recent news we also finished the rbl draft and we're still doing preseasons but our next actually our very our very first battle will be this sunday the home opener against the bavarian beedrills i do believe that's the team and i i'm looking forward to it i haven't had the battle with um with him yet so it'll be something 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 it'll be something really fun for sure and check it out because i will be doing a live battle and hopefully you guys enjoy it because normally i do this sort of stuff but with that, I feel like I've been rambling on a bit too much. I'm going to say have a good day, and this is Cap, signing out. As we know, 30 on 2s are annoying and they don't go down easily. So he's going to go for a try attack. And let's see the flamethrower. Let me see, let me see, let me, let me see live that. I'm going to live that. Just fine.